Hello, Alex. This week, I thought I could read you some short poems. It's been a bit, and I think they'd be nice. I bet you can guess the theme pretty shortly. Our first poem, called Pumpkins, was written by Kenneth Slade Alling. Go, send a dragon. The Hesperides, in bumper seasons, grew no fruit like these. Great gourds of gold, these apples that the ground, that bendless bough, has grown. The old man found them hanging there. Go, send a dragon straight, to guard the shed floor, gorgeous with their weight. Our second poem is Theme in Yellow by Carl Sandburg. I spot the hills with yellow balls in autumn. I light the prairie cornfields, orange and tawny gold clusters, and I am called pumpkins. On the last of October, when dusk is fallen, children join hands and circle round me, singing ghost songs and love to the harvest moon. I am a jack-o'-lantern with terrible teeth, and the children know I am fooling. I think that's my favorite, but I also want to read one more in honor of both of us getting through the last, uh, kind of surprisingly rough week, maybe. This is A Pumpkin at New Year's by Sandra McPherson. Heads were rolling down the highway in high slat trucks. I knew it was time to buy you and found you, the last sphere unscarred and undistorted in the store, big as my own head. It was time, too, to leave you uncut and full-featured, like the grandpa of twenty-five pumpkins in my past, crust of cheeked and dwelling on yourself, great knee of my childhood. I plainly thought you would rot. I remembered the feature of other pumpkins, their blue populations coming out of hiding as if at the end of some apocalypse. I devoted a day to reading up on minor cucurbits. I learned your dozen names in African and came home ready to raise or raise you, positive of change. But so far, eternity. I think I would not like eternity after I had used my senses up, as I've tried with you, fingertips dragging over your world, pole to pole, till they go dead like explorers, nostril cilia detecting your fragrance more delicate than they and my patience. It's Christmas, it's a new year, and I hear of a family who's kept you for four. You endure like matter manufactured, and indeed your stem seems punched into your orange gathers, like a button in a mattress. Shall I give you a room or a shrine, and shall I purchase you a mate and family when ours is so inadequate? Fixed upon your window, deathbed as we are. Centered upon a time and birth, new holiday, new friends, new pumpkins, celebrating when all that has failed us has passed away. You have not failed. Thanks for listening, Alex. See you soon.